What do you work for? Can you withstand the trap of consumerism? Do you feel poor? Compared with the era of material scarcity, our labor standards are obviously getting better and better. However, why is the anxiety about poverty still rising? The answer may be found in the book I will introduce today, Work, Consumerism, and the New Pool. The author is Digmund Bowman, a great British sociologist who has achieved greatly in the theory of post-modernity. You must have heard of modernity and the Holocaust and liquid modernity. Yes, he is the one who wrote them. Work, Consumerism, and the New Pool, first published in 1998 and reprinted in 2021, has set off a craze in China. The book has three parts. In the first part, Bowman proposed that after the West entered the industrial society, because of the alienation of labor in the social division of labor, workers cannot find the meaning of work, and the value they create is also encouraged upon by capitalists. How can workers willing to do meaningless work? Under such context, the concept work ethic emerged. Even if a job doesn't bring you what you expected, you should work. For work is justice and morally superior. However, in the consumer society, people began to evaluate people in terms of consumption rather than production. The more freedom a person has in the consumer market, the higher his social status and the more recognition he gets. As a result, consumption has become a continuous endogenous demand. Without forcing consumption, you will consciously choose to consume. At the same time, you will be willing to work to support your own consumption. This is what Bowman calls aesthetic of consumption, which replaces the concept work ethic. In part two, Bowman focuses on the rise and fall of the Western welfare state, rising the plight and the crisis of the new poor. The idea of Western welfare state originated in the first half of the 20th century. Under the logic of society of producers, the unemployed are faced reserve army of labor, and they will return to work as producers once they have the opportunity. Thus, the public is willing to provide them with relief. But this mechanism has been challenged in the consumer society, while technology, automation, and globalization have led to a surplus of labor instead of temporary unemployment due. To the changes in the economic cycle, they became redundant. All people who had lost their consumption power, who are defined as the new poor by Bowman. This has led to the shrinkage of welfare institutions, the increasing crime among the underclasses, the strengthening of the function of prisons, and the transformation of social problems into problems of order and law. In the third part, he makes a stark warning that attitudes towards the new poor in modern society are very much likely to lead to inhuman catastrophes, potentially leading to crimes as heinous as the Holocaust. Well, are the three questions mentioned at the beginning of the video answered? If not, you can buy a book and check out for yourself. Even if they are answered, you'd better read this book carefully. It's worth a shot.